We are going to be doing our project on the speed of sound and breaking the sound barrier. The speed of sound is normally about 760 miles an hour. That's about one mile and five seconds. The speed of sound can also be known as Mach 1. The sound barrier is an increase in aerodynamic drag, an angle that that plane an angle of a plane that causes the air to slow slow it down that occurs when you approach the speed of sound. We have lots of new vocabulary and facts to go along with our topic. Like the speed of sound at sea level is 340.29 meters in a second. So if you were to drop something in the sea and you were standing exactly 340.29 meters away, it would take exactly a second for the sound to reach your ear. Regions of flight are the ranges of speeds that planes can fly, like subsonic, transonic, sonic, supersonic, and hypersonic. The sound barrier is the rays and aerodynamic drag that occurs while breaking the speed of sound. As you can see, this fellow right here is doing. Sound waves are made when the molecules that make up sound push together. For our application, we are going to do a job shadow slash job interview for our application. I believe my uncle has flown the speed of sound. We're asking questions like, what was the highest speed you've flown at? What kind of jet was it in? What year was it in? How many Gs did you experience? The human limit is 100. You pass out at 5 or 9 if you have a special suit on. What was it like going at supersonic speeds? Where were you when you reached the speed of sound? Supersonic speeds are plenty faster than gunshots, and few have ever gotten the chance to fly the speed of sound, let alone reach supersonic speeds. We also have some fun facts. Felix Baumgartner, this guy right here, broke the sound barrier by skydiving over 30,000 feet high. That's higher than jets fly. He was even in space. He had to have a space suit on. And the fastest jet ever is this scramjet, which went Mach 10 and Mach 7 once. And it is thought to be able to go Mach 15. That's the fastest jet ever. And it is built by NASA. They abandoned the problem, or they abandoned the project because it was so expensive, though. When you hear the speed of sound, you probably think about jets, rockets, and Chuck Yeager, but you can make anything go to the, go the speed of sound if you try. You can even make a ping pong ball go the speed of sound, and it's capable of going straight through a ping pong paddle. For the final slide, we're going to show you how excited we are. Nothing is cooler than going the speed of sound. Nothing. People have invested billions and billions of dollars into going the speed of sound, which only lasts for seconds. It is also amazing that you don't even pass out going the speed of sound, considering how fast it is. You're going faster than sound. That means you could already have passed the location where a bunch of people are, and they won't even hear you until uh, a couple milliseconds later. The end.